Coal Gas Project is the world's largest offshore gas development. For Arco Maritime companies, it had a profound and positive impact on technological development and turnover. Arco Maritime companies covered the main contracts on the onshore processing plant as well as the main deck. And the turnkey contract of Arco Marine contractors for their record breaking platform substructure. This contract covered everything from conceptual development through engineering and construction, mating of the deck, tow out to the field, and installation of the total platform. Clean troll gas started flowing to European customers on October the 1st, 1996, in accordance with contractual agreements. Norska Shell was the operator in the development phase, while Statoil is the operator in the production phase of this project, the largest single offshore energy project ever undertaken by man. The troll field is the foundation for the commercial gas sales agreements of 1986 that gave Norway a dominant position in the European gas market. Troll is a very important, is a key element in the integrated system of Norwegian pipelines and platforms that secure European customers with gas for a long time into the next century. Okay. Acker Marine Contractors' turnkey contract for the concrete platform was based on a unique concept which satisfied the rigorous requirements set by Norsk Shell. The platform was to be situated in a water depth of 303 meters in the Norwegian trench. The platform is designed to resist the most ferocious waves which statistically can occur in a hundred years of North Sea winter storms or the most severe earthquakes which may occur in 10,000 years. The required service life of the platform is 70 years, but because of the high quality characteristics of the concrete materials to be used, this is a requirement which is not very hard to meet. Construction of the lower part of the platform takes place in a dry dock in Stavanger, starting with the 36 meter high skirt piles which will penetrate the seabed and create a stable foundation for the platform. All the vertical concrete walls are constructed by means of the very efficient round-the-clock method of slip forming. Thus, the equivalent of a 12-story deep base covering an area of 16,000 square meters is constructed in only 20 days. Already at this early stage of construction, corresponding to the level of the seabed, Vital equipment for the gas export pipelines is installed. Detailed construction planning is necessary to obtain the fine tolerances required for the installation of mechanical outfitting. Once the bottom raft of the platform is completed, the dry dock is filled with water. To lift the structure safely off the bottom of the dock, a large amount of air is pumped into the skirt compartments in a controlled manner. The operation is closely monitored. The moment of liftoff marks the transition to a floating mode, and the platform structure will remain floating during the rest of the construction program. The platform is towed out and anchored in the fjord. During the next nine months, the bottom cell structure is completed by slip-forming the walls and capping the cells off with upper domes. The lower shafts are slip-formed to a height of 60 meters above the top of the cells. The troll platform, because of its tremendous height, requires very deep water for completion of its construction program. For this purpose, it's towed to a deep water construction site in a field north of Stavanger. 
This is the first major marine operation of the Troll project. The voyage follows an accurately surveyed route along subsea valleys carved out by the glaciers of the Ice Age and through narrows between islands. The operation requires a fleet of tugs for pulling and sideways control and also for stopping and turning around sharp corners in the subsea topography. At about mid-height of the structure, there are four very large box girders tying the four shafts together. The purpose of these girders is to give the structure the necessary stiffness. The lower part of the structure thus becomes a sturdy, moment-resisting space frame from which the upper shafts are extended to carry the deck on top. From a construction point of view, these box girders present a great challenge. The chosen method of construction is a unique combination of prefabrication, high-precision marine operations maneuvering the large prefabricated sections into place, and finally, in situ construction of the girder walls and top slab. The box girders are 30 meters high, adding greatly to the stiffness of the structure. Through long years of experience and research, Acker Marine Contractors and one of its subsidiaries have developed very reliable methods for slip-forming towers, which can be inclined up to 16 degrees from the vertical. These methods are successfully brought into play to slip-form the two large drilling shafts. Between them, these two shafts will contain the 40 wells which are planned to be drilled to produce the gas from the troll field. It was a great challenge to design and construct the troll platform. Compared to other platforms, the troll platform is very tall and slender. And installed in the North Sea, the platform will have to withstand up to 30 meter high waves for a lifespan of 70 years. We have always had special focus on safety. And the safety goal has been to avoid accidents and we have had no serious personal injuries. The next important part of the construction program is the mechanical outfitting of shafts. Now the interiors of the towers take on a life of their own. The work involves the installation and hookup of modules and pipes, electrical pumps and instrumentation, which are required both for the offshore installation of the platform and for its operation during its working life which will last more than half a century. To support the platform deck at the top of the two drilling towers, specially designed spherical joints are constructed to very close tolerances. The function of these plinths, as they're called, is to protect the platform deck from fatigue exposure. The deck will rest on elastomeric rubber pads inside the two central towers. On the two end towers, the deck is secured directly to the top of the towers with large high-strength bolts. While Acker Marine Contractors has full turnkey responsibility for the concrete structure, Acker Engineering is responsible for the engineering of the deck and procurement of drilling and process equipment. And Acker Stored for the construction of the deck and its delivery in a fully commissioned state. The mating operation is in many ways the moment of truth. After many months of intensive engineering and construction work, the entire project is now brought together through carefully orchestrated marine operations. In preparation for the mating, the structure is ballasted down so that only the upper six meters of the shafts are above water.
With painstaking care, the deck is now maneuvered into position above the shafts. When the deck is accurately positioned, the concrete structure is slowly deballasted and the full 25,000 tons weight of the deck is gradually transferred to it from the barges. The entire mating operation takes 30 hours. Once it is successfully completed, the platform has taken on the configuration it will have for the rest of its life. Early morning, 10th of May, 1995. The world's largest floating object is ready for tow out. With 245 meters above water and a draft of 227 meters and with a spread of 12 ocean going tugs connected, the platform glides slowly through the panoramic fields. As Troll caught the imagination of the international media, information on the true scale of this energy project was spread, and the question was asked if this could be the eighth wonder of the world. The main technological challenge with the Troll field development has been its dimensions. This has extended the competence and expertise in Norwegian concrete technology. We can already observe that these skills and competence has uh, been important in the development of new concepts. And let me mention the floating production concepts that we now see in Norway and also globally on the basis of these expertise. After five days under tow, the platform has reached its final destination. With a displacement of more than one million tons, this giant is positioned exactly on target and sunk 36 meters into the soft seabed. The world's largest platform is ready to start drilling and provide Europe with much needed energy. Acker Marine Contractors has fulfilled its contractual obligations on site, on time, and within budget.